When you need to calculate the percent composition of a compound, what you need to do is find out what is the percent by mass of one element out of that entire compound's mass. So you have to look at the molar mass of the entire compound, and then you have to go back and look at how much of that mass is contributed by the one element that you're concerned about. Divide those two. It's always going to give you a decimal because if you have the part out of the whole, that's always going to be a number less than one. So we multiply it by 100 to get the percent of that element. So we're going to try working this problem. What is the percent composition by mass of mercury Roman numeral 1 oxide? The very first thing you should be doing is saying, that's not a formula. I can't find the molar mass of that. So we have to figure out the formula. Mercury is Hg, and that Roman numeral 1 means it has a positive 1 charge. Oxide is oxygen, and because it is in this group on the periodic table, just two away from the noble gases, it would gain two electrons, so it will look like them and become a negative two charge. So O, negative two. Those do not add up to zero. How about if we put another ion of mercury? There, that adds up to zero, so the formula we rewrite without charges is Hg subscript two, because there were two, O. No subscript, because we just needed one. Now that we have a formula, we can calculate a molar mass. There were two HGs and one oxygen. So I'm going to multiply those by the molar masses of those elements. HG mercury is 200.59. 200.59. And oxygen is 15.999. So we need to multiply those. 2 times 200.59 is 401.18. You can't see that. There, okay. And then there's only one of these, so it's 15.999. I'm going to add 15.999. My grand total molar mass is 417.179. The units on molar mass are grams per mole. To get the percent composition mercury, I would take the mass of just the mercury, 401.18, divide it by the mass of the entire compound, 417.179. This was the grams of mercury, this is the grams of the entire compound. I divide those, so 401.18 divided by 417.179. I get that number that's less than 1. It says 0.96. Multiply it by 100. And we find out that it is 96% mercury by mass. And I don't need to go through that same process to find out the percent oxygen because I know that the other 4% to get up to 100% is the oxygen. So it's 4%. Now, Percents are useful. We can tell people, oh, that compound is 96% mercury by mass. But we can also use that as a conversion factor. Since percent means out of 100, per cent means per 100, we could turn our percents into fractions out of 100. So that means we would have 96 grams of mercury for every 100 grams of mercury 1 oxide and we can use that as a conversion factor. Let's try that in this problem down here. What mass of mercury is in a 500 gram bottle of mercury 1 oxide? Well, I need to know x grams of mercury are in a 500 gram bottle of mercury oxide. So we set up our train tracks, and we have grams over grams in this conversion factor up here. So we have to be more specific. We need grams of mercury oxide, grams of mercury oxide in the denominator, grams of just mercury in the numerator. So that means I need to put the 100 grams in the denominator, 96 in the numerator. These cancel out. I need to multiply and then divide. 500 times 96 divided by 100, and we get 480. We had four significant figures, so I have to put a point zero on there, grams of mercury.